Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today, I have another Nintendo-related unboxing video for you. It's actually not Switch-related, which usually, you know, lately Nintendo stuff is going to be Switch-related, because that's their main system. Instead, we kind of have a new system here, but not really, uh, but more of a classic style item, I guess you could say. This is the Game & Watch Super Mario Bros. Edition, uh, released for the Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary, and I believe it's also the Game & Watch 40th anniversary, I think I read. So that's really, really interesting. And so here's the thing, I've never had a Game & Watch before. Uh, my first Nintendo system was the N64. So, you know, the NES, Super Nintendo, all the other things prior to that, I've experienced later through virtual console, through classic system releases, that sort of thing. So when, when I saw this was announced, I thought, you know what, this is the perfect opportunity for me to actually get a Game & Watch system, or at least, you know, something designed to be similar to the old school ones, although this is kind of a bit more uh, updated as well. And so, here it is. This is the Game & Watch Super Mario Bros. Edition. Uh, really, really cool packaging, uh, and there's actually another neat thing about it, which I'll show you in a second, but it's got a color screen and everything, which obviously the old Game & Watches did not have. Um, so there it is right there, color screen, Super Mario Bros. SM35, Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary, so that's a nice touch there. Um, yeah, I mean, there's your, your kind of classic style thing right here. Um, so this is really, really neat, but here's the cool thing about this package. Let me, uh, see if I can cut stuff up. And, oh, I guess I should have showed you the back, right? So this item here, uh, does have four different... Uh, I was going to say games, but technically one isn't really a game. So one, it's it's a clock. Um, so that was a thing with Game & Watch systems is, you know, you could tell the time, hence the, the watch part of the Game & Watch. And so there's a, a time app, I guess you could say, or a time mode. And then you can also play Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario Bros. The Lost Level. So you have both of those games installed on here. And... There's a uh, Game & Watch uh, ball game, but it's got Mario in it. So instead of Mr. Game & Watch there, it has Mario, which actually is was not a thing. It's, it's a new version of that Game & Watch ball game specifically for this uh, item here, which is kind of cool. I, you know, I know, I think there was a Mario-themed old-school Game & Watch uh, game, which would have been cool to include here, but... I also kind of, I think the ball game is kind of fun, and so uh, I've played it somewhere, and I don't remember where, in some virtual console thing maybe, I, I can't remember, but it's cool to have that included, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, okay, so let's, let's get this thing open, right? So let me uh, kind of cut the little corners here. Okay, I think we should be good. Actually, before I even do all that, I want to cut both sides because of one thing that I wanted to show you related to the package. I'm trying to be careful here because I want to show... There we go. Okay, so so notice, um, right, with the package, you have this whole thing, right? But did you, did you know that this actually slides off? They actually have a more classic-style Game & Watch box here. And the Mario Bros. things are just inserts on top of it. So now it just says, you know, Game & Watch Ball instead of, you know, the Super Mario Bros. on top. Uh, you have a picture of the Game & Watch Ball right there. Uh, there's no color screen image on here, even though it does say color screen. But the Super Mario Bros. was just, you know, a piece that was put on top. The clouds, the question marks, the Goombas. Like, that was just all added on. And uh, there's the back that showcases all the games. And really, the part here is the... Uh, the Bowser and stuff at the bottom. So, um, and actually, look, you you, you save. There's there's Toad and Princess Peach. They were actually covered up previously. They're they're stuck in there. So that's actually really really nice little touch. You know, um, I, I do appreciate that. Even even down to the little, uh, um, you know, characters at the top here that that come off as well. So I I want to probably save this package just because it's it's you know super super cool. Oh, look at that. Even when you open it up, look at this. The Nintendo Touch. Special thanks to you. Like, like, they're even thanking you right there for, for giving them your money. <laughs> right when you open it up. Um, okay, so let's slide this thing out here. 
I'm trying to keep that little sleeve on there too. Um, come on, there we go. Is there something else? I think there is something else in here. Okay, now I think I got everything. So here's the Game & Watch Super Mario Bros. user guide right here, all that, that good stuff. Um, so this thing does charge using a USB-C um, cable. So USB-C into the Game & Watch and then USB-A right here. There is no power brick included, so you gotta use your own power brick or plug this into a, a computer or a switch or something else to kind of get power in order to be able to charge it. But uh, there it is right there. Um, kind of a small size cable too, actually. Let me just open this up real quick. It doesn't seem super, super long. Uh, of course, since it is USB-C, you can use any other USB-C cable. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not not super long, so keep that in mind, uh, depending on where you want to charge it. All right, let's take a look at this system right here. Here we go. Look at that. That looks really, really cool. There's the Game & Watch Super Mario Bros. There you have it. So basically what you're going to see is, is it, what is this? Is this a speaker? I think this is a speaker, maybe, on the side here, I think so. Because on this side is the USB-C cable and the power button. Uh, so this actually does have a dedicated power button. I believe the old school Game & Watches didn't. Uh, and then on the front, you know, you have your, your D-pad, your A and B buttons. You have game, time, and pause slash set right there. Uh, but I like the, the colors, the, you know, nice, you know, shiny gold there as well. Like, it looks looks pretty solid. Um, you know, of course, it's my first time having, like, a, a Game & Watch system like this. So uh, it looks pretty cool. So let's turn this thing on. All right, let me actually, uh, I'm gonna dim my, my lights here. Um, I mean, it, it's pretty bright, but just, um, just so you can really get the full, actually, you know what? No, it's not too bad. Let's, let's just roll with it. Press time button. All right, there we go. Um, so we are now, actually, maybe I will. <laughs> just so you can truly see, uh, let me close my other lights. You can focus on the screen here, right? Because that's the important thing. Uh, like, it, it's still bright enough anyways, but just so you can kind of see all the little details there. So, you can hear, you know, every second kind of with a beep, and you can see Mario running through there for the clock, dodging Goombas and everything. And then you can see the little uh, dot moving all the way. Does this move all the way around the screen, I think, to indicate the minutes? I just want to see when it changes minutes to see what happens there. I don't know how far it has to go all the way around, but you'll see. Oh, he's getting ready. He's waiting. I think he's about to change it to 12.01. Oh, there you go. He hit the zero and it's now one. So that's that's pretty cool. Little things like that. So you can, of course, set the time here. So um, now there's a couple things you can do. Oh, I hit time and you see the background changed. So you see there's actually different uh, backgrounds that you can have for the time mode. Uh, but I'm gonna do pause slash set, and one, you can actually change the brightness. Um, so, you know, kind of different, or sorry, that's sound, and then brightness. Um, so this is sound, and there's brightness right there. And I can set the time, uh, which, how do I do? Do I do time? Oh, probably A and B. I forgot that those buttons exist. Um, okay, so you press A, and now what time is it? It is 11.52. 11 Oops, I did not hit A. I am bad at this. Um, well, actually, before I do all that, let me uh, go backwards, and let me go to like 3 a.m., and look at that, right? You see the background changes for nighttime, and you see when you changed it, uh, Lakitu came by as well, right? Oh, the little stars flying through. There's so many little, you know, things here. I could just sit and watch this thing for a while. So look, when you open up the menu, you see Lakitu scrolling by and he's got like a uh, wrench or something, right? So I can jump this up to like 6 a.m. And then once you set it, he comes and then he basically throws the wrench and flies away. 
Um, so you see all the different backgrounds, right? So let's change it now to, uh, let's go to like 3 p.m. Okay, so that's kind of what we were before. Let's go to 6 p.m. All right, it's starting to get darker and then go down to like 10 p.m. And now we're back to nighttime. So that is really, really cool. So let me set this to what it actually is. Um, I suppose I should go this way to AM. It is currently 11, now 53 AM. So there you go. Um, so that is a neat little touch that you have there for the clock. Um, so now, of course, there's other modes here as well, right? So there's a, a, uh, uh, a game mode, so I can push game, and you have Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 2, and Ball that pop up. So let's go into Super Mario Bros. And the battery indicator comes up in that mode as well. And so let's just do a, you know, one player, one player game. And there we go. Pretty easy, classic stuff right here. Easy, classic stuff. You didn't see that. Uh, it's a little hard to control with the camera in front of my face, but also, I'm not gonna lie, I suck at 2D Mario games really, really badly. Wow. Wow. All of YouTube is gonna be watching this. Isn't this great? I should edit this out, but I'm too lazy to do that, so I'm just gonna... How in the... I li... Okay. I... Wow. I am never this bad. I don't know why... Oh my goodness, I, I need to like kill this Goomba now. I just, I have to, I can't continue. Oh my God, what am I doing? I am so sorry right now. This is like, okay, come on, come on Mario. Yay, I did it, I did it, yay. Oh my God, that was embarrassing. Okay, well, let's just clear this level real quick because I want to point something out. Um. So I'm just gonna try my best to speed run this. Oh, I guess I should grab that fire flower. I just wanna run through this. Okay, ready, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. So, so you can continue and play the game and, and do all that fun stuff, right? And then, what you can also do, so let me go to the next world. All right, I'm in one, two. So let me hit game, and let's jump into Super Mario Bros. 2, the lost levels. So, all right, we'll play as Mario. Mm, okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, you know what, screw it. We're just gonna skip him. Um, okay, so there you go. You can play Super Mario Bros. 2. Now, let's say I want to go back to Super Mario Bros. I can push game, go back to Super Mario Bros. Notice where I'm at. I'm at World 1-2. So it actually resumes and saves your state for where you were. So that is actually really nice. Super Mario Bros. 2, I'm back where I left off. So as soon as you go to game, it'll pause it and, and go back and forth. That is actually really, really nice. So I do appreciate that feature. All right, let's go to the Game & Watch ball game. And uh, so let's jump into uh, a game here. Okay, so this one, for those that don't know, the way that it works, you can either use the A and B buttons or the D-pad, but you have to kind of move it left and right to make sure that he's catching the balls as they uh, fall down. And you see it's got Mario here, so that's why it's Mario themed, even though like the game itself has nothing to do with Mario, but you know, that's basically, you know, what it is. Um, yeah. Easy enough, right? So that's pretty much what you get. And then at any point you can hit time and jump back into the clock right there as well. Now, there are a bunch of different Easter eggs and things in here and I am not gonna be able to cover all of them. And in fact, more and more people are finding more, you know, all the time. And so I just wanna point out a couple of different things, all right? First of all, when you are on the clock screen, on the time screen, if you hold down A for a few seconds, you get this, the Mario drawing song. And you can actually go change languages. I think there's some glitch with one of the languages, an error that Nintendo mentioned, something about the lyrics being off, or I, I don't know exactly what it, what it was, but here it is right here. We're just gonna do this one in English. So let's press A.
<laughs> so there you go. There's the that little feature there. Holding down A seems to unlock a couple of different uh, things. So in fact, let's actually go to the ball game and we're gonna hold down A there as well. Sorry, I'm trying to hold, I don't know if you can hold it down on the start screen. Let, let me do it from here, game A and hold it down. There you go, okay. So you see he changed to Luigi. Now you can play as Luigi. He looks a little bit more worried now as well, which is kind of interesting. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's go to Super Mario Bros. And I think I need to be, I don't know how to start it over, I guess I should say. Um, but I think I need to die. And then I'll show you the, I think I have to be on the start screen for the game. So let me go die first. Like lose all my lives. All right, I have one more life, so let's just run into the Goombas here. Okay, now you know how you get three lives for your game, right? Well, if you hold down, so, so I don't know if it shows it on the screen or not, but let's hold down A. Keep holding it. And now look, World 1-1 one, one, and I have infinite lives. Did you see that? I now have infinite lives in the game. I can die to this Goomba as many times as I want and I come back and I have infinite lives. So for somebody like me that's absolutely terrible at this game, I, I, can, I can maybe finally get through more levels than I usually can. Same thing actually works with Super Mario Bros. 2 as well. So. Let me try and die. Lose all my lives here. Oh, I did not mean to jump over him. I wanna actually die. Okay, there we go. So, when you're on the, the main screen, okay, let's hold down A. And boom, there you go, infinite lives, as you can see. So that's pretty cool. Now, the other thing you can actually do uh, when you're on that main screen, if you hold down B instead, instead of World 1-1, one, one, it'll change to 2-1, or I don't know if you hold down B or just press B, but you can make it change to 2-1, 3-1, 4-1, different world, and you can start from other worlds. The only caveat is you have to have gotten to that world already in the game. So you have to kind of get, get to it first to unlock it, so to speak. And then in the future, you can just jump right into any of the worlds. Not specific levels, like not one, two, or two, three, or anything like that. It has to be, you know, one, one, two, one, three, one, etc. cetera. Um, but yeah, you know, either way, there's that. Um, otherwise, I mean, I think those are some of the main things. Let me see, if you hold down B on this screen, does this do anything? It doesn't seem to be. There, there's all sorts of little, little Easter eggs and things on here as well. So um, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to show everything, but I just wanted to give you a few little highlights of some stuff here. So let me turn my lights back on. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed this video and this look at the system. This thing is, I believe it was $49.99. It is a limited time item as well. So I picked this up at Best Buy. You can find it at a variety of retailers, but if you are interested, I definitely encourage you to get it now while you have the chance. It's selling out pretty quickly. Um, and it's a nice classic item. Uh, and then, uh, you know, when you're ready to, to be done, you just push your power button and boom, there you go. So really, really cool little system here. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think as well and if you're going to pick this up or not. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, take care and I will see you later.